Hi everyone, welcome to uh, my vlog here at Sign of Horses. So happy to be back at the channel. I'm a proud member of the Part Verzameld Collective, which is a collective of artists all over the world who love making equine art. Part Verzameld has been <laughs> invited to buy the Maurit House here in uh, the Netherlands to go to London, to Milton Keys, which is the home of the famous artwork by George Stubbs from 1784. I'm doing this by heart, I have to look these things up before I start vlogging, but I'm not very good at that. Anyway, from the 18th century, and um, it's a huge, huge portrait of a horse called Whistle Jacket. Um, what is so special about it, apart from it being stunningly beautiful, um, is that it has no background, and that was very unusual in that in that era, in that age. So he was, um, yeah, he was like very modern and hip for his time, I guess. It's a beautiful artwork. I can't wait for it to come to Holland, to the Maurita, so I can see it in person. But apart from all that. Joyce uh, puts out a challenge every month in the Part for, in the Part for Samuel Collective. It's so weird to put Dutch words in the vlog. <laughs> but that is what it's called. It's called Part for Um So she puts out a challenge every month to all the artists. Uh, it can be a, a reference photo for us to uh, get inspired by or a prompt. Uh, and this month, the month of December, it was the whistle jacket painting of George himself. So we all got to do our own take on this famous art piece, which was so much fun. And I was like, why haven't I done this before? I made two entries. Uh, this is my first entry. You might have already seen it on Instagram, either on my channel or on Pirate for channel. Mm -hmm. decided to make a second one, uh, mainly inspired by watching the young horses play and the George Stubbs painting of course. I took away the reference and did it by, well, mostly muscle memory because I drew him, or, uh, because I already drew him once and then the second time I let myself go wild and free like the horses. And I made this little chappy here. Very much inspired by Brissinger, of course. A little bit of bliss in there. I guess there's a little bit of bliss in everything I do. And, um, and I was smart enough to put a time-lapse lapse camera above my desk and film how I made this. So this vlog will show you the process of how I made that artwork through the magic of time-lapse. Um, some of the footage is kind of dark, some of it's kind of grainy because it was just all done with a simple um, phone camera because that's the only thing I have for time-lapses. Enjoy this little time-lapse clippy and I will see you next time in a new vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends to subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to release that inner freaking! I will see you next time!